Greetings, hello and welcome back to a brand new day in the apocalypse. As I said in the last episode, I took a day off camera and got a little bit of work done. We've got a new bookshelf here, we've got a little bit of a new crate here with some tree branches and twigs from all the garden work we did outside. Um, what else do I have? I now have a box out here that has all the gardening stuff in there, seeds, the shovel, anything else we need. Um, I cleaned up all the uh, twigs and um, branches in there. Uh, I did a little bit of meal prep, so we've got some, some stir fry, some pasta here, bowls of soup and rice, everything ready and fresh cooked. Uh, I was at the traps, we got five new rabbits, well, dead rabbits now, and we got a bunch of new boxes here. We've got now a dedicated fishing box, dedicated carpentry box, um, we got our axes sorted out, I repaired all the broken axes. Um, that's metalworking stuff, you know? Weapons, tools, car parts, car tools, everything has its place. Um, super happy with, with what I got done. Although I'm always surprised that that takes a full day, you know, just doing that kind of stuff. Um, all right, that being said, we'll take the, you know, I'll take the soup with me for on the way, and I'm just gonna devour a bowl of rice as breakfast. I'm gonna keep the, those calories up. That bowl over here, um, yeah, fill up my canteen. And then we can head out. Now it is a bit of a bit of a rough weather day. And I have no idea, I didn't check the weather report yesterday. Did I actually program it into this car yet? I'm not even sure. Uh, let me see. No. Um, so we had what? 3.2 is the frequency. Doesn't work while it's paused. Uh, at preset. Save, tune in, automated emergency frequency, okay. Maybe maybe don't blast it on full volume or the neighbors might com complain. Um, that being said, my X is at like 95% condition. I don't think I have a spare X with me. Let me actually just hear through the weather report and then I go inside and grab a spare X. Yeah, 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 it's raining. Weather continues throughout the day. Showers and heavy rain. Oof. Well, I, you know, actually, I want to, I want to hear how much longer it is going to be tomorrow. This has been predicted to end in the, probably in the morning. And heavy rain. I was actually considering uh, maybe, maybe when we get home tonight. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a pickaxe kind of mood. Um, when we get home, I might actually just add a few farm fields for some more cabbages just for um, farming bait in addition to the other ones just for consumption, like the. I felt four fields for each of those four veggies that we have is more than enough. But that was, um, I was used to the the numbers what you have to eat before the calorie change. I think I, uh, 
talked a lot about this in the last few episodes, but this was a significant change, and for me, like, the whole feeling of how much does my character have to eat is kind of gone. I can no longer trust that. Constantly surprised that I'm losing weight. At this point, might make... So, there's a negative trait called hearty appetite, where you're you know, more often hungry, and you, you know, you just eat more. Which used to be a real problem um, of reasons not to take it is because then you had issues managing your weight because you would get overweight if you constantly ate. Now, with these changes, I'm eating all the time anyway. So I might as well get a, get a trade point for this. Right, what are you bringing me? What's that on your back? Metal pipe. Well, you know, you can keep that. Yeah, one thing uh, worth mentioning, the whole meal prep and cooking actually gave me one level, well, the level up in cooking, so we're cooking level 4 now, which means we need to read the ne next cooking book. And no, I still have made a list of which books I still need, so... Soon, soon, eventually I get around to that. It's like... We've got the books that I deem important, which is like carpentry, mechanics, metalworking. Anything else is really just nice to have, and that's then way too much work keeping track of that. It's actually not, but no, I occasionally forget things. One more guy there. Yeah, with it being rainy today for the whole day, let's uh, actually get a poncho on. I think I need to be, even though it's the last house in the row here, I want to be diligent about clearing that area out. Also just for the sake of being able to drive back later. So there's a grill behind that house. I was saying last time, propane gas. Actually always kinda sought after. So I might just grab that quickly. I'm not gonna loot the whole house, because um, one thing I noticed last time with the one hour days, looking through a whole full house is costing a lot of time. Well, costing, it's taking a lot of time. Not really a cost, right? Guys, no, don't, I'm, I'm, I'm already here. You don't have to... That being said... 
that's a bit about a big house. Small shed doesn't take any time at all. It's also completely empty. Well, not completely. There's something on that one shelf. Yeah, no, I lost my interest. Doors locked. If I go through the window, that's way too close to the door and somebody's inside. Um, I was about to complain that it stopped raining. Now it starts again. Hello. Sorted out. No, that's another one. <laughs> it's always the same, isn't it? The moment you get back into your car, it's like, oh, there's one more zombie. I had a penny for each time that happened. I had a lot of money that I can't use in the apocalypse because money is kind of worthless. Um, that's a. A different sort of grill. Is this? No, it's not. For well, a second, I thought okay, um, that this was kind of the same house layout as our old house over in the other in the other town. Nah, I don't really care. If we get back here this afternoon and this guy managed to bash in the door, I might have a peek inside, but no. I don't care about this house. Yeah, play the dramatic combat music, there were two zombies. You can say what you want. X combat sounds are still the best sounds here. Okay, so this is uh, my, my place of interest here. Nice barricaded building. We do the proper way. Clean around the outside. Ooh, it has a fenced in garden area. Yeah, then I don't clean around the outside. Someone is inside making a lot of guys inside making a ruckus. Okay, there's no windows here. Don't like this at all. If I start unbarricading this, there's I wanna say at least two guys bashing on that. Get a, another view inside. Alright, that's actually probably okay here. Yeah. Why is this empty? We might have somebody upstairs.
Nice. Barricade outside. I don't like those several guys outside making so much so much of a hassle here, so here's what we're gonna do. The win a window broke. I'll be right with you, since I'm in the garden already. Pick up one more propane tank. Send it at the front door. Wasn't this just appearing to be battered? Upstairs it is then. A little bit concerned since we have two broken doors and there were not enough zombies in here to have caused this much damage in this short time. But I'm also not hearing anything else. Empty revolver. Okay, now let's consider this clear. Skinny leather trousers. Ah, one of the rarest uh, clothing items in the game. Hand axe, always very much welcome. You know, if the, if the poop knife doesn't do the trick. Um, civilian bulletproof vest. Huh? Again, I'm I'm doing a lot of. Um, uh, well, I I don't pay attention to my protection um, of my clothing really, which. You know, I the ph philosophy is yeah, I just don't get hit, um, but of course. In theory, it would be better as long as it doesn't um, hinder your movement speed, your combat speed, um, or doesn't over encumber you or make you super hot, then get all the protection you can get because there's always going to be that one attack you can't avoid. And I get that, that that makes sense. 
And I'm still gonna ignore that and just not gonna worry about... Holy shit, where did that guy come from? I'm in through the window. Did I leave this door open? The garage door? Maybe. Alright, so far for Survivor House, this is about as disappointing as I've ever seen one. Like normally these these shelves, especially in the kitchen, are like rock full of of gear. I'm actually not 100 convinced we have all the trapping books. Let's just gonna pick that up. Worst case, I'll just throw it in the throw it in the bin. Just so that we have at least something out of this place, yeah. Oh yeah, I left this open. Okay, that was not very smart. Farming book is my current... I'm reading this book. was all not very exciting, honestly. That's just this. Uh, I think there was one more building. Ah, there's another gas tank. Getting any super exciting loot. Let's get at least some propane and propane gas accessories. So propane is um, only used, mostly used for metalworking, and metalworking has very few uses, but one big use is that um, if you're repairing your car, like any, any bigger car repairs, then you often need metal parts and some propane, and then the effect of the car repair de is determined by both your mechanic skill and your metalworking skill. Ignore the house, we're gonna have a quick look in the big garage here. If they have an easy way of getting in there. Someone inside didn't like that. May not drive around here. Uh, I guess not. There was... Is this really... Is, is this it? Let me just actually open the map. Pause. Center. 
We're very close actually to the docks here. Where is it? Not past four. Um, first of all, quick check. Wow, imagine finding finding a roadside construction site and all there is on the ground is a hammer. Like not even a sledgehammer, not a pickaxe, a regular old hammer. Alright, so here's the plan. Um, we're gonna head back. We're gonna make a quick stop at the bait shop, the bait and tackle on the way out. Just basically as a last kind of fill up on kitchen supplies. I like my, my little share here. Ultimately kind of unnecessary, especially since I also have, I think, a share, a uh, um, resting chair in the, in the trunk, which I could have just placed, but you know. Didn't just train carpentry just for a collector barrels. Can also make chairs. I did not see that guy at all. Look at my car. Holy crap. This was the first real hit to the car since we got the new one. Wait, you know what? It's good as new. Does not seem like there's going to be much loot here. Ah, uh, I guess. Big level two trapping. Heard a window break. I just heard a zombie. Yeah, okay. Officer. Officer, not so friendly. What's this guy looking? Oh, good. All over the place. So we could maybe snatch some some good tires, yeah. Hmm. Now you know what? This is it. This is the end of this little trip.
Not as much loot as I would have liked. Oh, I always gonna make a stop for downtown zombies. Because I want to be able to, at will, um, use the gas station in peace. Spit home. Let's just grab everything that's not a propane gas tank and that doesn't neither no, stays in the car, I guess. That away. Um fishing stuff. Gonna throw the books in here for now. I can check out if I have the dose double or not later. This way, this doesn't no longer looks empty like that. All right, and then we have oh, my canned food is full, but I guess uh, this is now available. I have some some hot sauce also. Okay. Cool, that looks all fine. Then we've got a new X and a new hand X. They even have room for three paintings here. Yes. Get those quickly. Last but not least, put the trousers away. And as I said, let's get just four more um, farm plots going for, for some more cabbages. Pick those. Okay. Oh, it's gonna rain again. I'm sure. I'm not gonna be fooled here. Alright, what do we have here? Um, this is what blooming potatoes. I don't think that counts as seed bearing, so we're gonna wait. We got some worms from the digging. All right. Worms are kind of weird. They don't go bad. They don't die. You can put them wherever you want. And they won't complain about it. All right. What else? Um, let's have the rest of the soup. AT double up. I actually, you know, think that that soup might almost be a little bit much, but it's fine. Let 
don't need to worry about um, cooking anything new because I still have plenty left cooked already. Alright, time to spend the rest of the evening outside. Oh yeah, I also have a new box here with electronics and gas for the generator. Yeah, there's the rain for my newly planted cabbages. Also, I don't think this is this is uh, rainproof here, so it's setting a little bit in the wet. If I get if I get moist, I go inside to continue reading. Interesting. All right, enough reading for today. I need to get some, get some green paint, get some plaster to make this look nice. But for now, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I'll go to bed. Somewhat successful day. I would have expected a little bit more from that from that house, but it is what it is, right? Um, I think the one last thing before we head over to the other city was I wanted to check out the trader park, which I assume is still there in that area. But that's going to be something for the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.